Good morning, guys, and happy Monday. It's Tiff, and I am here to tell you about a super fun and awesome collaboration. Um, this is one that has been requested uh, by a few of you. Well, maybe just more than a few. But you guys said, hey, Tiff, why not do a collaboration <clears throat> with the amazing Kristen Van Valkenburg. And well, guess what? Today is the very first video of our little collaboration, and it is called Bite My Palette. Oh yeah, that's right. So what this collaboration is going to do is our very first video today <clears throat> is about um, creating art pieces, bits and bobs to send to the other person in our signature palette. So you will see here on this lovely piece of cardboard, which I'm pretty sure made its way into her package as well, you will see my signature palette. Um, I can't recall if I added anything to it, but y'all know how I roll. I probably did. So what I want to do is I want to invite you to go over and hang out with Kristen and see what she made for me. And then our next video will be us kind of unveiling uh, these magical bits. Now, I will tell you this. I was a little bit nervous. I mean, anytime that you send somebody something for them to use in your art, there's a little bit of apprehension. Um, in like I'm like I just use junk and garbage and stuff so this little bit here or very extra large giblet we'll call it is actually um what is this I can't even remember it was on a part of a project and it just didn't make the cut and so it ended up um getting I uh, sent to Kristen, so I hope that she likes it. Um, this was another um, giblet that I really like the texture, and it was torn. And, you know, Kristen and I, we use very similar as far as colors are concerned, I feel like. Um, she's a little more bold and bright than I am. Um, and I like a little more grungy. So it'll really be interesting to see how Kristen transforms this into her work. And I'm so excited to have the opportunity for her to collaborate. So if you're not familiar with Kristen or her channel, I want to encourage you to go down and check in the description box after you're finished watching today's video. And go give her a little love and see uh, what she made uh, for me. So I'm using here this is actually um, a piece of watercolor paper I believe it was quite thick watercolor paper actually and it had some overspray <clears throat> excuse me or goodness my allergies are kicking up this morning it had some overspray or something going on, which y'all know. Y'all already know. If you're new to my channel, you may not know. But guys, I am messy. And I pick up any type of overspray, any spills. Um, who can uh, let that dollar paint go to waste because I like to use it all. And I'm going in here with my Tim Holtz um, stencils. I really, really love numbers and letters, um, and I think it makes an interesting pop. And I'm going in here with the stencil brush and that Lucas Payne's Gray, which is so rich and almost dark, but not dark. Not, excuse me, it is dark, but it's not black. So it's really, it's really one of my top faves, guys. So I'm going in, and I love how the contrast of those colors with the with the blops and messes that I have going on, it just really pops, and I am just can't wait. It is so fun to send your stuff off to someone else and see what they can use in their work. It's it's both exciting and also quite nerve wracking, I will say, because I'm like I don't want to send too much, but I don't want to not send enough, and I'm like, oh gosh, it's, uh, th guys, that's where I do the overthinking, but I just said, you know what, I'm sure that she will love and enjoy each and every little morsel, so I'm just going to send it, and then you notice that I grabbed like a neo color, I grabbed a, um, 
what was that a color pencil and a similar palette but not exactly the exact same color just for a little contrast and I thought hey Tiff why you're out and why you're doing all the things over here why not make draw a face right quick and uh, send her um, a face and then if she wants to use it she can if she doesn't then hey it's all good too so I'm just <clears throat> excuse me I am so sorry guys um, I'm just going in here with um, my Stabilo all and a brush that could um, be considered as too large for the project and I think that when you use a piece that is really too large for um, a face I think it is an additional way for you to be able to add um, some looseness because you can't be very particular when you have a brush that's too big for the project right so I'm just using water and I'm just zhuzhing it around because remember Stabilo All does activate with water um, so I did let that dry for a little hot pair of seconds there and then I'm going to go in and I'm going to add a little bit of a uh, white stabilo just to add a little bit of highlight on her eyes keeping her rough and loose so it will be a really I, I hope it will be a really good palette for whatever Kristen decides to throw at it um and uh yeah it'll be fun to see it what pieces she uses and which is which ones she chooses not to use so and then i'm going to go in here and i'm going to add just a little bit of acrylic paint onto her bottom lip just to try to bring it out a little bit and guys here's a plug i get asked all the time about faces i have an entire class on faces on loose messy faces anybody can draw a face um and i show you how to do that in that workshop so if you do want to check that out um in my classes it's down in the description box below feel free uh to do that but uh, that is available to you so i really love her look i think she got a little too you know a little attitude um um, so I'm just going in here with a number two mechanical pencil and just dilly dally and uh, kind of just messing and scribbling her all up and uh, then we're going to call it quits and I'm going to move on and actually I think she was done on a brown paper sack like a part of a it is really no telling. Could have been a food place that I got a brown paper bag. I just keep all the things. And then I had this. Um, this is like a aged, weathered, uh, very front page. I know it has a, a, a name to it, but I can't think of it. But the very first page of the book that has all of that nice patina color. I had torn it out of the book. I don't know when and it was in my giblet bag so I grabbed it and decided just to make some loose marks some very uh, just scratchy just colors that hopefully the energy when she opens this packages this package she feels glad to go ahead and just really create with all of the little bits so that is really a good idea if you have a friend if you have someone who you can kind of swap your 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 pieces and your painty goodness then do so because it's amazing the energy and the inspiration that you can find in other people's work um as it as it really you know touches your hands you know it's one thing to see it on camera but to actually hold somebody else's work I believe there is the energy that you can feel off of that and I'm really excited to dig into the box or the package that um she is going to send me so that I I have the opportunity to really hold some of her beautiful work. Um, and then, uh, what am I deciding to do here? Oh, I'll let that dry. And then I'm going in with the white Stabilo and just making some sketchy marks. And I'm going to go in with my stapler and do a few little staples there just to add a little paper giblet to it. And making, again, some more marks. When I don't know how to do anything else, I just grab that number two pencil and let loose. It just brings me back to that kid-like energy. And uh, I really just like to scribble like a kid. That's all there is to it. There's no rhyme, no reason. Just, just like to do it. So I'm letting loose here. And then I'm going to just make a few little polka dots. 
um, around the page and when I like to make marks I like to let them come off of the edge of the page and then I wanted to send Kristen uh, one of my vintage letters this is a love letter between Espy and George and if you've been with my channel for quite a while a while you know that I bought the lot on eBay and Espy and George shared a love language I don't and letters back and forth and I've read a few of them they are so sweet and precious but they make it into my art all the time I don't actually think that I filmed that specific uh, part because the camera does die right as I'm finishing this and this little piece is actually some baking paper or something like that that somebody sent me in um, an envelope and I used it as under paper and now it's making its way uh, to Kristen. So I really hope that you enjoyed today's video. I can't wait. Again, please make sure go give Kristen a little love. Check out what she made for me. And guys, it, this is going to be Monday series for a while. So come back. Come often. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you turn that bell notification on and leave your girl a comment. I love you. Until next time. Toodaloo.